Trash to treasure, trash to treasure, trash to treasure. Here we all cash me. I got gold nuggets, I got small dimes, I got me some quarters, and I'm gonna, gonna cash in. Here we all cash me. Welcome to Trash to Treasures, where someone else is trash. It's someone else. Welcome to the show where good times roll. <laughs> Yo, look at this guy's beautiful piece of wicker right here. This actually matches what those chairs I found last episode. You put your little flagpole right there, your little umbrella, give it a go. Wow. So we're just casually looking over here, guys. And as we scan over here, are you joking me right now? What is this? What is this right here? Are you joking me? This smells like product right here. Oh, I'm so stinking excited. You guys see that from a mile away and you know exactly what that is. I don't know what this is doing here, but I'm about to grab this and get on out of here, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Are you joking me right now? Are you dead serious? That is unbelievable. I'm still tripping out, guys. I'm still tripping out. I've owned real Louis Vuitton in my life, so I haven't really scoped it out yet. I went over to a couple other complexes to do some more hunting. Oh my gosh. I, it, guys, it was literally first can of that complex I just shine my light right on top and there's literally, like you know when you go to one of those membership stores like Costco or those big Sam's Clubs, they give you those like empty boxes or whatever, it was laying right on top of an empty cardboard box. Guys, it looked phenomenal condition. It had all the markings from what you saw in the video. That's that's as close as I, I just threw it in the back and went on my way, I was so excited. Okay, yes it could be fake but it could be real also. You're wondering, oh no, no, that's stupid. Well, last episode, guys, we saw, or two episodes ago, we saw the Gucci wallet. Anything is possible. I honestly do not doubt anything anymore because I have found some crazy things in my day, guys. That's why I love apartment complexes. That could be a breakup purse. That could be a boyfriend saying, hey man, you know, it's out of here, you know, we've moved on. Again, I don't know, guys. I don't know, but it could definitely be real because that is a very rich clientele over there, guys. To rent an apartment around the areas I hunt, it's literally a mortgage payment. You could own a home. Actually, I'm sorry, you could own like two homes where my brother is in Colorado. So these guys are paying a lot of money. So I do not doubt, potentially, we could be having a, a new, not not new, but authentic, I can't even talk about it. An authentic Louis Vuitton, guys. That is back to back. Well, I'm not sure if this is going to make it in the next episode. But last episode, two episodes ago, we're on a... And the Toomey bag, guys. I, yeah, yeah, I can't even drive. I'm driving way under the speed limit. I can't even think right now. All right, I got another complex. There could be more night. I don't know. Sky's the limit. Thank you, Jesus. Sky's the limit, baby. Woohoo! So, guys, in all my excitement, I totally spaced on when I was showing you guys all the DS stuff, and look what was in the thing as well. That would be the blue DS that the box was too. So, in here, we have... I don't know what that is. Metroid, Metroid game. So there's a game inside it. But let's go ahead and whip it on up here. Dun, 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 dun. Works. Touchscreen works. Everything. I think this thing comes with a stylist. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's the stylist right there. But uh, anyway, touchscreen already works. Tried that out last night. I was, again, I was excited. So I opened up uh, the REI bag. Um, you know, of course, you know, all the buttons work that that see that little red thing moving back and forth And then that's not also they hooked me up with the charger as well So that was really cool and then to top it off to get all the toppers top in here Check this out guys. We got a memory card. Uh, let's see. Are we supposed to do it when it's on? I don't see why not we have 
Ah, give me it. R4 Revolution for DS. I don't know what that is, but that's that. And then, even more of a topper offer. <laughs> Check this out, guys. This is awesome, man. This is going to be worth some cash. Kind of hard to zoom in there, but that is a 2 gig micro SD card. 2 gig for that, which goes into that. So again, guys, all those other games you saw, plus a working DS with stylus, everything, and a game. And then this thing, this thing, charger. Now I'm feeling kind of bummed out because I think in one of my giveaways, I gave away a DS case, an actual, like, nice DS case. <laughs> that would have been cool, you know, for a, a package deal. But hey, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather give it away. Um, well, if I had it still, that'd be cool. But um, whoever does have it, if you're watching, hope you're enjoying it, hoping it... Uh, is uh, protecting your DS, or if you sold it, good for you. No stress. I'm too blessed to be stressed, you know what I'm saying? So again, guys, all those games with it as well. The Nike bag here, good stuff in there. I'll let you guys uh, find out that in just a little bit. One other thing I wanted to show you guys here before I show you all the clothes upstairs was I just threw this thing in this bag here. This bag was with it, but here we have a Norelco. We have a uh, three-head shaver, and I know what you guys are thinking, like, that's disgusting, gross, but it's in good condition, and I could always just Lysol and sanitize it and scrub it up a little bit, and it does require a charger, which I don't think I have one of those, or it might just be your typical plug-in, so I'm not really sure, but if that's worth 20, 30 bucks, I'll spend the time and clean it up. All right, guys, here's the highlights from the bags. And honestly, to tell you the truth, there's probably only about maybe seven pieces of clothing that I totally scratched that uh, are not gonna be uh, eligible to sell or keep. Now, let's start with the ones that I'm gonna be selling here. Uh, these are all too big, so there was two bags. One bag was actually my size. The other one must have been for the dad or possibly a larger gentleman because these are XL shirts, so keep that in mind. So the, I'm gonna be selling these as a package deal. We got uh, Ruka, uh, we have Mark Echo V-neck, all XLs again. We have another uh, Ruka, uh, let's see, I think that is, yep, that, that's a mini V, I think, quite possibly. Uh, and then again, I'm not gonna bore you with uh, all of them here, but we have another Mark Echo, I think Ruka right there. I think that's Hurley, the blue one, and then some other V-necks, etc. I think Mark Echo white one right here. So, guys, very cool, and those are in good condition. So that I'm gonna sell as a bundle package on eBay. Hopefully get maybe 30-ish bucks for all those shirts. Now, coming over here, guys, this is really cool. Now, this is why I even grabbed the bags here, because the denim was inside, I did see denim, and as from what I could tell last night, it was just beautiful denim, looked great. I thought they were Levi's, but even better, guys. This is William Rast, and this pair is, as you guys know, Justin Timberlake's brand of jeans. Uh, we have button up there, all the way at the bottom. The only problem, though, guys, is that they are, I think, bootleg cut, and so they're a little bit worn on the heels. And as you guys know, bootleg cut is, well, those might just be large straight leg, I don't know. Anyway, those will still sell if someone's a little bit short. Again, that's only about an inch up, so they can hem them and they'll be good to go. These are size 36s though, so unfortunately, they are not my size, but as you see there, William Rast, beautiful, kind of like seven for all mankind type of material on the outside here. Beautiful quality, guys. Now coming on over here, baby. So check these out right here, bam. I know you guys know what that is. Rock and Republic. Oh, yes. So these are definitely boot cut. Okay, the William, the William Rass are straight leg, but these, I believe, are boot cut. They kind of flare out a little bit right here. And again, same thing. They have worn heels, but they will still sell, guys. And to top it all off, check this out. This is what I saw right off the bat when I pulled them out of the bag. Look at that, guys. Bam. So we got some pockets there. And so again, guys, people, I've been seeing a lot of designer jean boot cuts. They just, they're over it. You know, boot cuts not in anymore. And instead of hemming them to straight leg, they just get rid of them. Oh, and also uh, these were canned because of a couple holes right here and here. But other than that, you can patch that up, guys. So the, again, these will still sell. I'll still easily be able to get, you know, uh, 15 bucks uh, for these. Easy is my guess. 
including shipping. So uh, that might be worth my time. Maybe package them up, package deal, maybe try to get 20 a pair, 15 a pair, whatever. All right, now coming on to the things I'm probably going to be keeping. Uh, this is uh, La Lotto Netherland. Really nice little kind of soccer shirt there. And then this I'll probably sell, but this is a non-compression workout shirt there. That is medium though, so that is my size. If I decided to keep that, I might wash that, try that on. Okay, now coming over the stuff I'm definitely going to keep. Guys, look at this, man. This is some, just some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff right here. So we got Mossimo. We got Button Up. We got a nice little short sleeve for fall. And what is that, guys? That's the tag on it. Are you kidding me right now? $18 has the tag still on it, guys. Button up Mossimo. Check this out. I know you guys are going to be stoked on this. Look at this one. What does that say? REI medium. Again, I told you one bag was my size. So medium, REI, button up. But and I, We're talking fantastic condition. Look at this little like pouch right here that this REI shirt has. Look at that zips down you put your like cell phone in there for camping or just chilling guys that has to be probably a fifty dollar shirt brand new at rei all right moving on to this one here this is gap this is medium short sleeve short sleeve button up very nice short sleeve button up navy blue and then check this out i know you guys are going to dig this too this is a large but this is like a fishing vest camping vest bunch of pockets on the front and back you could even use this as like a tactical vest if you're out shooting or whatever you know what I'm saying so that is a large but I can definitely make that work if I go camping this was in the Nike bag here a little kind of um, army army hat there just spray good condition just just in case spray some Lysol on the inside right here germ killer and you're good to go guys so again I'm talking product Again, I almost passed it up, but I said to myself, you know what, let me stop real quickly. Let me peer in these two bags that were sitting next to some, like an old TV. Bam, guys, awesome. So now we need to go back downstairs, and I want to show you what was in that blue duffel bag, Nike bag, where I grabbed the uh, Army camo hat. So let's go back downstairs. And quickly, guys, before I show you what was in the blue Nike bag, again, same bags as the Rockton Republics, etc., we have all these really high-end Adidas Nike socks. Very, very good condition, guys. So I'm just going to wash them with a lot of heat, a lot of hot water, and a lot of soap. And I'm not scared. So moving on to, oh yeah, and uh, okay, this was in the Nike bag as well. So this is Unstructured by Clarks. Nice little bag there. I can actually sell that with. A pair of Clarks that I found somewhere around here. Okay, so let me briefly kind of describe what was in there because sometimes it's cool to kind of know the backstory. It was such an amazing night last night that we might dedicate the whole episode to <laughs> last night because there's just so much product. So let me give a little backstory. Uh, as I was digging through the bag, uh, plane tickets, um, brochures for Italy. And to top it all off, there were some other cool stuff. We'll get to that in just a second, but you can tell it was a backpacker, it was a lady, there was like, you know, some shampoo, you know, bed and bath lotion stuff in there, you know. Uh, a lot of stuff she was just like, oh, let's just throw it away. Uh, anyway, I'm going to throw away the Nike bag, it's real beat up, dilapidated, but inside, who knows, it, someone might have broke up and just threw it away, I don't know. But inside, of course, there is a older power adapter for Europe. These are European plugs. That's where the U.S. plug goes into, so she brought her own power adapter to Europe, to Italy. And there was a wine opener, of course, in Italy, so I'm going to give that away to you guys in one of the giveaways coming up. But she went to the island of, of Capri, or some people call it Capri. I think it's pronounced Capri. I've actually been here, absolutely drop-dead gorgeous, off of the eastern coast of Italy, Capri. Just beautiful. People say that it reminds them of the island Catalina, which is right off of the Southern California coast. So very beautiful. And again, in there was this cool little comb here, pull out comb and mirror. I'll probably give that for a giveaway. Some brand new contact lens solution. This whole bag with like some toiletries that are all brand spanking new. 
I might save that for a trip coming up, who knows. And then these things, check this out. This is, I don't know, I think this is, might be a belt. But it has these cool little things around it, some beads on it. And I think that ties around your waist. You know, like a woman that's wearing a sundress or something like that. So, I thought that was kind of cool. But guys, to top it off, this, okay, we'll get to that. Actually, let's get to this first. So, I was so excited when I saw this, guys. Look at this. Pimsler, and I was like, Pimsler is expensive. Barnes and Noble Audio. So, this is Pimsler Italian. And unfortunately, it I don't know if all the discs are here or not, but it goes all the way over there with a little authentic brochure from Barnes and Noble's owner's manual. Moving on to this little cool pouch that was in there as well. Inside the pouch, guys, come on now, look at this. And talk to me about this right here. So hopefully my wife doesn't see this episode because she might get this for a present. It is a watch with a rubber band. Guys, with the tag on it. With the tag on it. you got to be kidding me right there. Let's zoom in here. Man, that's nice, isn't it? My goodness, guys. So that was a great score in the Nike bag as well. Something else, guys, I want to show you. So I grabbed this. And I'm going to give this to someone as a joke. But... This is a plaque, just in case the guy watches. Um, I don't want to reveal his name there, but take a look at this, guys. Beautiful, beautiful plaque. There was two of them in there. Look at that, guys. Very random, but a nice, beautiful plaque. We'll give that away as like kind of a gag gift, maybe a uh, secret Santa gift. And guys, the same night as the plaque, check this out. These are kind of a OEM TV stand stems that go on your TV stand. These probably fetch for easy 10 or 15 bucks alone. This is for a 37 through 46 inch model numbers are right up on top right there. And then I got another one for a larger TV. This one's for a 55 inch LCD model numbers are on the tag as well, but kind of these brand spanking new with the screws. And then again, the body board, which is definitely an awesome score. That makes two. One up there, and this is my second one I found. This one actually comes with a leash, so I'll give this one to the missus when we go bodyboarding, and that's gonna be an awesome time. All right, guys, so check this out right here. I wanted to show you these finds before I package them up and put them downstairs or put them away, and I can't dig them back up again for a while. So anyway, what we got here is we went to two different locations. Most of this stuff was found at Office Depot, Office Max. Uh, they've merged, so same store. I've been going back there quite frequently, and it's the same thing as Staples. So anyway, behind the store, um, I find stuff like this all the time. Now, this was really cool. I dug this out. This is a really good condition, brand new Beats box. Has the owner's manual and everything inside of it. And that empty box will definitely sell, probably for my guess is about maybe 10 or 15 bucks, something like that, you know, if that's worth your time. But something else I wanted to mention, guys, is that I will never pay for a lot of office stuff ever again because I find this stuff pretty much, I mean, not some of this stuff, but let me tell you exactly what I find all the time. I've been finding thermal paper pretty much every time I dive, maybe other every other time I dive. So if you guys need thermal paper, and this stuff is always there, so definitely look for thermal paper all sizes. I actually use a machine for my business, my chauffeur business, which is this size, so that was a great pickup. In the past, I've picked up uh, maybe 10 rolls for like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, it's probably gone down, but anyway, thermal paper, free, can't complain. Another one is envelopes. I find a ton of envelopes. Found some Home Depot gift cards, but of course they're not activated because this right here says, please remove this tab after purchase, what is kind of fuzzy right there down by my pinky. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just give those as kind of a uh, April Fool's joke uh, for some of my buddies. This was from actually not behind Office Max, Office Depot. This was behind the bike shop, one of my other favorite uh, commercial properties to go dive. And just someone threw away some, you know, some home stuff that uh, they have in their home. And I was able to grab this uh, WebBot Spy Sweep or whatever, 30 bucks sticker right there. Hopefully that can sell for, you know, a few bucks. We'll, uh, we'll look into that. Uh, stamp pad with a uh, date right there, a little pouch right here for something or other that might be for the Beats. I'm not exactly sure. Didn't find the earphones. Most likely the employee of Office Depot grabbed those and just threw away the box. Because to tell you the truth, there was three separate portions. The sleeve of the box was thrown in one direction, the box was in another direction, and an insert in the middle was also. So they really dismantle it before they throw it in there. Uh, brand new cell phone case, brand new staples, 
And then this was kind of cool. These are just plastic pieces right here. Comes with the little screw hooks here. And there's three of those in one box. And these are just kind of holders, like dividers. And so again, I can use those for my organization for my eBay auctions. All right, guys, now I want to show you what was in the Office Max Office Depot again. Now I mentioned OtterBox, I believe you pronounce that. This is just a, actually a back case uh, that looks like it's for probably, what is that, a Sam, that has to be a Samsung Android device with the uh, whole little camera right there. Not sure exactly, that might be S4, uh, S5, something like that, but I thought that was pretty cool. I'm free 99, can't beat that. All right, so right there. And then again, we have another one, same thing. This must be again for a Samsung. And again, another one. And this is a I Love case. This one actually looks like it's a little bit used on the back. It might've got scratched when they uh, took it apart out of the packaging. Again, Samsung, little fake little picture there. So again, three cell phone cases for Samsung. Looks like girls' cases. And then guys, this was really, really cool. Look at that, Swiss gear. Has a little hanger right here with uh, all sorts of little kind of zipper pouches and stuff like that. Little luggage type things like this with a nice little net bag. I don't know if this is like a cosmetic bag for when you travel, but I'm probably just gonna turn it into a bag for my GoPro and all my GoPro accessories, maybe my mini tripods, etc. So I'll probably turn this into a camera equipment bag. But again, guys, Swiss gear, a couple marks on top but nothing major. I mean, great condition, Swiss gear. You can't beat that. Pull that out of Office Max Office Depot. Of course, I always pick up these envelopes. And so when I ship my products on eBay, even though they are ripped open, I just fold it over like this, tape it up really good. You save 50 cents right here or more for those envelopes. So always keep those in mind. And then this was really, really cool, guys. Look at this right here. So this is just your typical, I don't know exactly what it is, to tell you the truth, but it has these pages right here where you would slip stuff in, almost like scrapbook. Just a beautiful kind of scrapbooking book right here. Beautiful condition. All right, without further ado, let's get into the Toomey bag right here, baby. Look at that guy right there. I'm hoping you guys can see that okay. I mean, literally, guys, beautiful Toomey. This is a T-Tech Toomey bag. And I did some research on it, and this is probably brand spanking new. This is about a 24 inch bag, I believe. There's the serial number on the inside. I think I showed you guys earlier in the video. Here is the, right there. If I didn't show you, there it is right there. There's the serial number, legitimate to me. Great condition bag, guys. And I know some of you guys might be thinking to yourselves, well, they threw it away because there's bed bugs in there or something like that. Yeah, that, that could possibly be it. But guys, majority of the time, that's not it. You know, maybe 1% of the time, that's it. Just make sure before you touch it, before you put clothes in it, before you use it yourself, just grab a can of Lysol at Target, you know, and just Lysol the whole entire thing, kill some germs. Um, you could, you know, potentially squirt it down with hot water if you wanted to, let it dry. I mean, that's totally up to you. I know some people, they do a mixture of water and bleach so it doesn't ruin the uh, coloring but you're able to kind of semi bleach it off. I have no idea how that works. You would have to Google that. But anyway, guys, again, Tumi T-Tech has nice little lift up handle right here, guys. I mean, just quality piece of machinery right here. I mean, just really, <laughs> really high tech, man. We got the wheels right here. Again, I'm not sure how much these go for brand new, but the research I did Eh, they were around, I think, like maybe certain models are like 350 bucks. In the current condition it's in, I would honestly give this a good 8.75. Yeah, about 8.75, maybe even a 9. A couple, couple scratches on it from obviously use, but all I know is I have a Toomey bag now. <laughs> Thank you, Trash or Treasure. I appreciate you. So that was a great, great pickup. All right, guys, I also wanted to show you real quickly. This was the uh, same complex where I found those really nice boots from, um, it was either last episode or two episodes ago. But I picked up a real nice uh, leather belt, a uh, woman's belt there. But look at this. This is something else I found in the uh, Office Depot Office uh, Max dumpsters. Same, uh, same night as I found the, the Swiss uh, gear bag here uh, and all the other items. But 
let's take a look at this. I've actually, this is the second one I've found of this type of a product. Now this is the first one I've found of this particular one, but I did find a little bit more flowery of one, kind of with a pattern like the scrapbook we see right over here. But uh, anyway, what I really like about this, this is kind of a um, file of folder, right? And check this out, we got the defective sticker right on there, and the only reason it's defective is, look at this, guys, I can glue that down. And as we open it up, I mean, look at this, guys. Look at that, that is really cool. So you have all your different already listed on there. We have licenses, personal prescriptions, rent, taxes, mortgage, automobile, bills. So check that out. You put all your different things in there for tax time. All right, guys, so here it is right here. Just beautiful, absolutely stunning. Now, after I got a closer look at it, the reason why they hucked it was because the zipper is torn. Now the zipper's not broken, but the zipper is torn. You see here the material has come off of the zipper from the side right here, and you can still zip it up, but if you zipped it up all the way, you're gonna get a little gap in between it right here. Now you could literally just re-stitch that. You could go to a, a nice shoe luggage shop, you know, something in the area, and get that stitched up for probably, my guess is 20, $30, no joke. Now, if you, if this was real and you got it fixed by Louis Vuitton, you're talking hundreds of dollars to redo that zipper because they're going to take it all apart, do what they need to do. If this bag is real, brand new, this thing's like $2,300. This is actually a unisex laptop bag. I did some research, heavy research on it, and I need to vacuum it out a little bit, a couple little shards of, you know, random paper, but someone used this as a full-blown laptop bag. I've looked high and low. There is a serial number in this. I need to do more research to find out if this is real. The only telltale sign that this might not be real, and it did come with a lock and key as well, the only thing, and this thing is heavy, this thing's solid brass or whatever Louis Vuitton uses, the only thing that throws me off a little bit, it's kind of hard to see, but down here by my thumbnail here, it says 318, but it's not completely straight. Now, I think Louis Vuitton would take the time and imprint that straight. Now, again, this is just on the lock. Everything else on the lock, all the Louis Vuitton symbols are all legitimate, but they stamped it just a hair crooked on the bottom right here. The key matches up with 318 on the lock. The lock is the only thing throwing me off. Everything else I researched, the double stitches, everything is solid. But again, it has a serial number in here, so I'm gonna have to call up Louis Vuitton, see if they'll tell me if it's real or not. Um, with the Gucci wallet, they couldn't because most people are trying to authenticate something, and then people are actually stealing real serial numbers and putting them on fake bags. So sometimes they won't tell you if it's real or not. Now, again, another question you guys might have is that real Louis Vuitton would not fall apart like this. And I do beg to differ. I owned a real Louis Vuitton wallet, and it was falling apart after about three years of use. Um, it started just deteriorating. I went into Louis Vuitton. I said, hey, you know, fix me up. And they said it was going to cost a lot of money. I said, scratch that. I'll just super glue it. So anyway, guys, regardless of, okay, well, I'm going to do more research to find out if this is real or not. If this is real, I will fix the zipper make it high-end, you know, back to original, and this will probably fetch anywhere from $800 to $1,000 in the condition it's in. And if it is fake, I will go ahead and just use this myself with my Tumi bag, guys. Again, put my laptop in there. I'll still fix it, but I won't fix it, like, legitimate, legitimately. If it's, you know, fake, of course, I'm not going to spend all the money for a $200 fake bag. So again, guys, regardless of if it's real or fake, I mean, obviously I want it to be real, but if it is fake, I'm gonna keep it. If it's real, I will sell it because I don't need a real expensive bag like this. Anyway, guys, great score, came with some goodies. Now let's get that final shot, baby. All right, guys, I'm just heading off to the airport right now with my Toomey bag and my Louis Vuitton laptop. Let's do this, let's fly through the skies. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please like that. Please thumbs that button up, baby. And if it's done you justice, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Even if you're subscribed, subscribe again. I don't know how you do it, but subscribe again. Hit that like button. All right now, I'll see you next time. Take care now. Yo, if you're sick and tired of paying too much for stuff, just look at that dumpster and you might come up. Yo, come ups, come ups, I come ups a bit. Come ups of small people throwing away mad stuff all day long. But then you can sell it for cash and gold because all of us need a come up these days. Come up, come up, come up.